Meld. We are a residential and commercial interior design firm who also focuses on product. We have a dimensional tile line as well as lighting, furniture, and accessories. I've always been a designer since I was little. I don't think there's ever been any one thing that drew me to be a designer. I've just always had it in me. While other kids were getting, you know, toys for Christmas, I was getting bedspreads and curtains. And so I was always, always interested in that creativity and that expression. What drew me to design was when I bought my first home. I was 21 and loved the architecture of the home, but just wanted to kind of go a little fun on the inside. So I decided to go to thrift stores. And once that started happening, it was kind of snowballed into just having so much fun with it. It really piqued my interest in, in the design world. We met in 2000 four I think it was it goes so far back we've just been so you know such good friends and best friends for so long but we met I believe in 2004 at a design showroom that we both worked at and it was clear right off the bat that we had the same sensibilities in terms of fashion and music and also design it's weird because someone finally got me there was just so much about our lives that involved design so it was inevitable that we would end up doing a business together we are passionate about what we do and we love sharing our passion for design with others. I think it's a very personal thing to be asked to help somebody with their home or their business as it is a representation of who they are and where they like to gather with their friends and family. And Brian and I love helping to create a space that they didn't know was even possible. I think what fuels my passion is the inspiration that I like to surround myself with, my friends and family. Travel is a huge inspiration for me. I also think Brian is a huge inspiration and we feed off of each other when we start brainstorming us, you know, whether it's a space or a, a product, you know, it just snowballs and my passion that was already percolating just kind of bubbles over. And that's exciting to be able to work with somebody who inspires me every day. The way that Salt Lake City has influenced our design style has grown deeper inside of me as I've gotten older. At one point, I was tempted to leave Salt Lake and felt like a bigger market would have been the better place to start my career and, and forge a new life, but decided that instead of going and being a smaller fish in a bigger pond somewhere else, I could stay here and make a larger imprint on the city. and inject my design voice and our design voice into the city and our community has really blossomed. I'm really proud of Salt Lake and the community that we have here. And it's exciting to have designed businesses in several places in the city that I can go and hang out with my friends that other people um, can hang out in that actually help define Salt Lake and what it is culturally. When designing product, it's all about thinking about how we can redefine what's either been done in a new, fresh way, or you know, having something inform the way that we make something to honor something in history. We're not just making product that's pretty. We have the practicality behind it. We know how tile setting and masonry works. We know enough about our industry that we can design something that works better and more efficient and works at a certain price point, I feel like our perspective as designers make us even better product designers. We feel like design should be accessible to all. It should not just be for the elite. So one of the things we wanted to create was a high impact item that anybody could put in their home, whether they had an apartment, a temporary space, or a permanent space. And so we thought of doing uh, wall tiles. We found some recyclable PVC and that was a way that people could apply them to their walls and just individual art pieces or do an entire feature wall in their space and they could put it up with tile mastic or they could put it up with 3M strips. But ultimately, what inspired those tiles was the brutalist architecture and um, the dimensional architecture that we so loved. So we always wanted to apply them to concrete. That was what we derived the PVC tiles from. We discovered Ardo through European Marble and Granite, our local distributor here. 
we've used in so many of our designs and we didn't even realize that we were looking in Persian Ardo. So it was kind of natural when uh, Armin came out that we met with him and the talks came and we actually decided that this could be kind of a cool relationship to uh, get our product out there in a tile form. In seeing what they were capable of doing in terms of concrete, it was just kind of a perfect match for us to be able to give them our molds and have them cast them out of concrete. It's exactly what we envisioned these tiles to be from the beginning. With the concrete tile, we're able to create something much more architectural that will stand the test of time, that can go into a space and feel like it's been there, feel like it already has innate history, um, ground the space in a way that um, gives it so much more by design and character. We love how the product turned out. We're really excited about it. It's just amazing to see our design, our ideas put out there that people can actually use. We want to just continue to grow our circle of influence. We want to continue to um, stretch our design reach. And, you know, our tiles are a great way to do that. And we're excited for Ardo to, you know, introduce the line to their distributors across the country. Um, but I think Meld has a lot to say about design, whether it's in our interior spaces or continuing our product line. We definitely want to be a global voice for design.